Welcome to the second way to love yourself in the philosophy of Louise Hay. And today we're going to be talking about the F word. Maybe not what you're thinking. It's actually forgiveness. And we've all done things in the past where we're ashamed, upset about them. We've said harsh words that we wish we could take back. And what Louise says is you need to remember that at the time you were doing the best you could with the awareness and understanding that you had then. Now you're on a different path. You're making different choices, having different behaviors. And so it's important not to let the heaviness of the past drag you down now as you're going on this new path. When we ask in workshops, who's the hardest person to forgive? It's almost always myself. And so I'm going to ask you right now to just close your eyes and think of one thing from your past that you need to forgive yourself for. And are you willing to do that? Are you willing to let yourself off the hook? And it's okay if you don't feel it right now. A Course in Miracles, which I've studied and Louise had studied as well, says that you just need the little willingness to start the process. You don't need to know how to forgive. You just need to be willing. And what happens with that willingness and that beginning on that journey of forgiveness, there's emotional and spiritual healing and even physical healing as well. I remember the story of a woman who was in the hospital and the physician had told her family, you'd better say goodbye because she's on her way out. And this woman had just started with this philosophy a few months earlier, but she decided to begin doing an inventory over the past. And she remembered suddenly a resentment she'd been holding for 30 years. And she decided, you know, I have nothing to lose at this point. I might as well forgive that. And she said that she could literally feel something shift in her body when she did the forgiveness work. And three days later, she walked out of the hospital. If you look at Louise's Heal Your Body book, where it has the list of diseases and symptoms, possible causes, and also the affirmations, you'll find that forgiveness is in there a lot. Forgiveness truly opens the doorway to love. It allows you to take off the burden you've been carrying about yourself and truly love yourself more deeply. And of course, when we love ourselves more deeply, when we're forgiving ourselves, it's easier to forgive others, isn't it? And that doesn't mean that you ever condone bad behavior, betrayal, or abuse. It means that you're freeing yourself from the past and carrying that anger and that resentment. You could even make a list of the things you'd like to forgive yourself for and go down that list. Take some time in meditation to really work with it. And if there's some where you feel like you still have a big charge, just say, I'm willing to forgive myself. And sometimes you have to go even a little farther back from that. Say, I'm willing to be willing. I'm really to be willing to forgive myself. So once again, I'm going to invite you to just close your eyes, put your hand on your heart and tell yourself, I was doing the best I could. I'm willing to forgive myself. Take a nice deep breath. Just notice how that feels. Go ahead and open your eyes if you haven't already. I love you. I invite you to go more deeply into loving yourself and forgiving yourself. And be sure to meet me in the third video.